I want to make a quick video today about something that uh, I thought about after I saw a Nick Shabazz video uh, where he reviewed the Ratworks uh, uh, auto, the one with the chain uh, at, at action. And he, he noted that the Ratworks knife had a, it didn't have a safety, but it had, a, but the handle rose up around the button. So it was not actually flush. It was actually a little bit lower than flush which made it very safe. Uh, now, personally, my favorite autos have safeties. I mean, I mean, my absolute favorite designs have safeties. I know a lot of people don't like safeties because they feel the safety slows them down. But I'm not in that big a hurry to get to my knife. I don't have any fantasies of being a knife fighter or something like that, so I don't need to, you know, suddenly pull it out and save the day. And so... For me, uh, uh, a uh, safety, you know, it has like another half second or something. And uh, I don't imagine there are very many scenarios where that half second is going to be life or death, although anything is possible. But having said that, there are some cool knives uh, without safeties that I like. Now, as you can see, I have two uh, Protex. I have a Protex sprint at the top, and I have a Protex... Uh, God's son at the bottom. In the middle, I have a Piranha, a Piranha X. Now, Piranha is kind of an interesting company. I mean, you know, they're kind of renegades in the sense that, you know, they have all these brightly colored painted handles. And, you know, a lot of people always talk about the fact that Piranha, that Piranhas don't have uh, adjustable pivots. But I know a lot of people say they're wobbly, but I've been pretty fortunate with mine. Uh, I have two of them. And both of them, you know, are, are really have very solid, very sturdy piv pivots. They don't um, move at all. However, the thing that really struck me about uh, piranhas is that they're very easy to inadvertently open. And at the end of the day, I think the main reason they, they inadvertently open so much is that the buttons on them are above flush. You see how high that button is over the, uh, you know, it has this uh, kind of divot cut into the handle here for it. But when you turn it to the side, I mean, it looks like it's about uh, maybe a millimeter above that, or at least about half a millimeter or so above that. I mean, it's, it's definitely, you know, I turned, all, I turned all the way down here about a 50-degree um, angle away from my line of sight, and you can still see the button. I get it up to about, there we go, I have to get up to about 70 degrees for you all not to be able to see it. You know, to actually, yeah, she should be about, be about 70, 80 degrees. But you know, if it's any lower, you can definitely see the button over the horizon, so to speak. Now, the bottom line about this kind of situation is that if you put the knife down like this and just press on it, it opens. Uh, and so that to me is just a very bad design. I mean, I like Piranha. They make a lot of really nice looking knives. But a knife that can open up so easily, is just that's just a bad design. And um, as a result, I mean, Piranha's, I mean, I like my X. I like this knife a lot. But I, but this is a knife that I will only work, carry in the watch pocket because it is too easy to accidentally open. Now, in contrast, let's look at this uh, godson. Now, as you can see, the godson, the button is, is, is flush. Uh, you know, it doesn't stick over. You know, I get up to about, about a 60 degree angle, you can't see it. If I get any higher, it completely, you know, get to about 60 degree angle, you can barely see it. If I get to about 70 degrees, you cannot see it at all. Now, the result is that I can push it down like this on a perfectly flat surface. Push with a lot of strength. And, you know, I'm not a young guy, but I'm definitely not weak yet. I've got a fair amount of strength in my hands. It doesn't open at all. And so, even though this doesn't have a safety, uh, you know, that very, very flush design around the uh, uh, button, you know, makes it pretty good. Now, the sprint, however, takes a little bit after Protec. 
as you can see, that button rises a bit. However, if you put the sprint on its back like this, push down. And I'm really putting some pressure on it. It doesn't open. Now what does happen is that the button does get pushed in slightly, but not enough to open it. And so M is just like, for instance, you know, if you get the button, you can kind of push it down to about here. That's what happens to it when you press on it. But it has enough of a, of, of a drop around the button that it doesn't open it accidentally. And so therefore, if you're going to make a knife, an auto knife without a safety, then I really think, you know, you should make a knife like this godson. Where, you know, when you turn it just a little bit, you cannot see the button. Because it's flush or maybe a little bit below flush. So, it doesn't pop out accidentally. And so, that was the point I wanted to make. And, you know, I know Piranha seems to be kind of iconoclastic. I mean, I don't think they respond too quickly to outside pressure or whatever, but I really like Piranha. I mean, I think they make some really fun looking knives. I mean, you know, like some people say the designs look a little bit like gas station knives. And I can see that. But still, they're kind of fun. And, you know, the blades, the action on them, that, you know, they're well put together knives. But if you're going to have a button that high, if, you, if your button is going to be that high, you need a safety. Now, if they don't put a safety on the knife, then they need to do, like Protec hit, did here with the Godson, to make that button low enough that it's highly unlikely that it will be accidentally opened. Because, uh, you know, a very, very sharp three and a third inch blade opening up in your pocket accidentally is not an experience that most of us want. I mean, it's too close to too many things that can hurt us really badly if it's in your pocket for that to be a safe thing. And I really think that they need to reconsider their design. But anyway, um, that's just an observation I wanted to make. And I hope it's something for you all to think about when you're looking at knives and buying them. I mean, you know, I think with autos, that's a really important thing. Take care, guys.